The Raiders travelled north to Sydney in good form and no doubt full of confidence, particularly as they had won six of their past seven encounters against the Eels, the team looking to bounce back to their winning ways, stinging after last week's final play loss to the Panthers. A very important round six clash on its way. The Eels burst out of the blocks inside five minutes thanks to their star six and seven and their three. Rapala has a tag at Jennings, but Jennings fleet-footed gets away. A fantastic start and this combination in the halves continues. Blake Austin thought he had four points denied by the bunker and Michael Jennings meanwhile was denied by his head. Right on the snoz of Jennings. He didn't have to wait too long for his second though. Norman once again providing. He hits the short play. Somebody's clicking in the gear. Michael Jennings picks up an early double. Parramatta's halves in full control. Kieran Foran showed no signs of his dodgy hamstrings. Foran goes through. He's got the fullback in front. What about the step from Kieran Foran? Well, he beat Bulls and Jack Whiten. He made it easy. A bit of luck. Bo Scott was there and the Eels were out to a 24-point lead. I said he's up here. The score would remain just that at the break and early in the second half, Sean Fensom found himself on report. Oh! More misery for the Raiders soon after as the cracks started to show. It needed something special for the Green Machine to get their first points, and they delivered. Makes Austin get the bounce, and sits up for Blake Austin, and it's been an ugly day for Canberra, but they get a very pretty try. Instead of dropping though, the Eels defence stepped up a gear. Oh, good hit, Poyo. Well, he read it well, but Fenson brushes it off. And the home side just kept coming. He finds Brett Takarangi, and that smile on the face pretty much sums up the day here at Parramatta Stadium. A tough afternoon for the Raiders after a five-day turnaround. The Blue and Gold's convincing 36-6 winners.